What's up everyone, Ryan here, and I'm back with another EA Sports PGA Tour Career Mode Series video, and today it is time for round number three of the BMW Championship at Wilmington Country Club, and here we only have one more round after this one until the Tour Championship, the finale of Ryan Gamer's rookie season, and right now this week, Ryan Gamer has got off to a slow start with the putter, but has been able to battle to four under and back-to-back -back rounds in round one and round two, sitting eight under par here going into moving day. And that puts us only four strokes off of second place, which is Will Zalatoris. And we are only seven strokes off the leader who's sitting 15 under. Uh, so who knows? Maybe Ryan Gamer's putter gets hot in round number three and we give ourselves a chance to win in an epic Sunday finale. So I need all your all's one times, all the hype and positive encouraging comments, just like always, let's finish this season strong. If you all get some enjoyment, drop a like. It always helps the channel. Subscribe for more, and you can check the full playlist down in the description if you're looking for more episodes in this series. And Ryan Gamer is the multi-sport athlete on the channel. Six ongoing sports at the same time. Recently dove into the world of WWE and WWE 2K24, and also MLB 24, a brand new series just started. So tune into those as well. But today's purposes, we have four to seven miles per hour wins. So it's going to be very scorable conditions. But Ryan Gamer is going to have to figure out how to read these greens. They're very tough, but we can do it here in round number three. Let's go ahead and dive on in. EA Sports and the PGA Tour are proud to present the season long race for the FedEx Cup. From Wilmington, Delaware and Wilmington Country Club, live third round coverage of the BMW Championship. Well, if yesterday was any indication, we should be in for a memorable weekend of golf here as we take in the leaderboard on this Saturday. The former Cal Bear, Brandon Hagee, is the leader. He's at 15 under. Meanwhile, our featured golfer needing to get it in gear currently seven shots off the lead hey let's do this everybody jerry's big strategy for ryan gamer going into this round was play your game and don't overthink it jerry thinks ryan has been overthinking it these first two rounds so gonna try not to overthink these putts play with our instincts and win the bmw championship here we go I feel ready today. Like, I feel focused. I feel ready. I want to get to six under or better. I think and we can do it. Just fine. Good drive there to get the Saturday round underway. Second shot coming up. Let's bring in Iona Steven. Yes, he's left himself 140 yards to the flag. And that wind is hearing from left to right, so you need to factor that in as you start this ball. Proximity hole has been an issue uh, this week. Last week, proximity hole was insane. Just haven't hit well on these, these shots. Let's do this. 40, 140 yards, slight down the slope to a little bit of wind, but not a lot. I'm going to do a little bit of loft here. Kind of go right for this thing. It, we don't know if it's 4 to 7 miles per hour, so if it's 7... This may not be the right shot. So it was up in the seven mark, but still a good shot. We'll take it. Was hoping for four. It's a solid shot and a green in regulation, but a little away from the band. Oh, and somebody was asking me in a recent video, how do, I, how do you do the putting view? So if you hit Y on the Xbox controller or triangle on PlayStation, it goes to the scout camera, right? So it's going to start in the up high view right here. So for me, if I click my left stick in, it changes the view. So then you're just, just going to click it till you get the low camera. And then you use the left stick to move back, zoom in with up, left, and right to move around. Now, if you're, it, it may be right click for you. It may actually be R3, click the right stick in, and then use the right stick to aim depending on what you're putting with. But here we go. Ball is above the feet. Steady up the slope. 
it's it looks like uphill, but I guess it's a little bit downhill. So really a pretty level putt. It, it, to me, it looks like more right to left than left to right. This seems to be a little right to left, com I mean, left to right component at the end. Not going to overthink them, though. Good putt. Mm, that's a good putt. Just needed a little more behind it. Can't make them all right. That's been the struggle this week. Last week, the putter was hot, but... Safely in. It's a par here at the first. And he's going to remain at eight under. These greens are sneaky tough. They're, they're extreme. They're, honestly, th these are some of the toughest greens we faced this season. 224 yards. A cross headwind, but it's mostly a straight side wind. Blowing left to right. A little bit down the hill. I do think drive shots the way. I'm going to go drive five iron with a little bit of loft. The wind was ripping on the last hole, so I'm going to play it at 7 miles per hour, maybe a bit more. Looking good. Is it going to stop, though? That's a pretty good shot. Unlucky finish, though. Back hole location. If you're not precise with your distance, you can run out of green in a hurry. Yeah, this is a dangerous shot. I mean, got to go full loft here on this chip shot. Ball is sitting above the feet. It does look like it's right to left. It's just, just unfortunate that this rolled into the rough. If it didn't, we would definitely putt it. We can't putt this one. Got to be careful, though, because it's so easy to send this too far. This is what I need you all to one time. One time. Say it out loud. Drop it in a comment. Oh, is that any good? Perfect. That was tracking pretty well, too. That could have gone in for the same price. Wow, that was such a good chip shot. It, I did not see that break at the end. So close, but we will take it. Wow. That finished off for par here at the second. And he'll remain right where he is. We need to get our putting together before East Lake. As many of you all know this, you watch my a lot of my videos on the channel between this game and PGA 2K, you know that East Lake is is Ryan's nemesis. Like that course has crushed Ryan over over the years so many times. He's lost so many FedEx Cups because of that golf course. We have to conquer that course. So we should be able to fly over those bunkers with this wind. Should. I usually miss the fairway aiming to the left, so it's still going to go too far, isn't it? Wow. Can somebody kick that into the fairway? It looked like it so hit that, that fence foot. In the rough. I don't think it hit Just the fence foot, did it? a little bit on that tee ball. It looked like it did hit the fence foot, but it was kind of far away. Jerry, go ahead, invite him to dinner. I know that's customary, but it, it seems like they tried to step into that one to get to have dinner with Ryan and Jerry. Oh my, 78 to 86%. Ryan Gamer is going to break the playoff records for hitting fans. I think we've hit a fan in every round almost. Get up. Get up. That was a beautiful shot. Tempo was perfect. Slide over swing. And now we're going to be left with Ryan's... Probably favorite shot, the Has little spinner. Thrilled with that second shot here to the par five. The old Frank spinner shot. Everything out of that. Yeah, it did well just to advance the ball so far down the fairway. And now a fairly straightforward third shot. Still my favorite shot in this game. I absolutely love the spinner shot. It's so satisfying. It's so fun to hit. Let's send this close. Gonna aim one I'm gonna aim at 34. A little bit of loft. Go to overpower this a bit. Get it to stop. Just perfect. Let's go. Two good shots on this par five. Leaves that simple little chip. And that was beautifully played. Basically straight in. Maybe a little bit left to right. Not much movement at all. 
That's what we needed. Yeah, no sweat. It is a birdie here at the third. Come on. And he'll move it to one under for his round. Let's have no Minus bogeys nine today. Nine for the tournament. No bogeys. Let's let's just keep this let's keep these birdies going. Well, one birdie, but let's just keep it going. Get your coffee, whatever you're drinking. Cheers, everybody. Let's go. Got a nice fresh espresso in my cup today. I need that extra boost here. Oh, gonna be watching this one intently. What happens when I talk during my backswing? <laughs> That's what happens when I talk about coffee too. So from the rough, his huh. second here at the. All right, fourth. no talking to your during backswing. Okay. One oh seven, slide up the hill. 115 carry here with this approach 54 degree wedge i i think we gotta go probably finesse here with a little bit of loft wind has been up there this is a big difference in lie you see 88 to 97 percent that is a big difference but we don't really know where this is gonna fly Got a little lower percent there, still a good shot. Well, it just comes up a little shy of the flag, but all in all, a good shot out of that rough. Come on, we Ryan. We turn to Begay the third for this look at birdie. And this has a pretty clear right to left break to it. Players gotta recognize the speed. This is one that guys leave short quite a bit. All right, Noda gave us the warning to not leave it short. Does look like a steady right to left to me as well. Gonna aim at about 27 feet, maybe a bit more to make sure we get it there. I play quite a bit of break here. And it still broke more. Wow, these greens are so tough. You just don't see that much break when you read them, but they break a lot. And then we're left with this very difficult short putt. A little bit downhill. Ball is well below the feet. These are the knee tremblers, aren't they? That's in. It is a good par here at number four. That'll It'll get the heart rate up. Minus nine. Wow. Good thing Jerry put the magnet in the cup before that one. We are lucky that that ball dropped in. That, that was very dangerous. Hit that with probably a little bit too much steam. Hey, it's a par though. Hey, birdie. One birdie through the first four holes. We will take it. There are birdies out there on this golf course. You just have to find them on the par fives and a couple of the par fours. It is a tough yeah, course. It's in the first cut. There's always a little bit more grass around the ball that has to be factored in. 165 left. The pin is protected by the water there. To carry the water, it's, we're fine. I mean, we got a few yards to work with, about five yards probably. I'm gonna go finesse eight iron. Just gonna make sure we hit this there. So I'm gonna aim past the hole. Slight cross headwind as well. Let's play this a little bit safe, but still be aggressive. That's a good shot. A little bit overswung, but we'll take it. Oh, uh, it's gone left and long, and that first cut ball normally sits up all right. Expect better than that. A lot of movement coming left here. This for I'd birdie. say. Yeah, a lot of movement. Look at this break. Ball is sitting well above the feet. It is a steady right to left. It flattens out a little bit at the end. But this, this thing is going to be breaking hard to the left. Even faster, even more than the last putt. Because this one's downhill. Probably about a foot. I mean, this thing is going to move. I'm going to put this well up the slope to the right. And just hope we get a good roll here. Get in. That's just such good speed. Good touch. Wow. Good read, too. I mean, the, these greens, we're, we're, we're so close all week. Every single round this week, we've been so close at the greens. We're just barely missing them. And... Hey, that, that's the beauty of it, right? That's what makes golf so fun for me is that challenge. 
back a little bit left to right. We just saw the ball roll. We just saw it. Slight left to right. Yeah, that's good point. Yeah, right to left. Here at the fifth. You all see that? And he'll stay right where he is. Hagee is up at 16 under. Zalatoris is 12 under. We're not moving up the leaderboard like we wanted to. We're in fifth place now instead of fourth place. We got this. There's plenty of golf left. Can somebody call in the birdie train, please? Like a big time birdie train, not a small one. Oh, that tee shot just finds the first cut. Ball does sit up there. Not too much of a problem. Okay, so 93 yards. Slide up the hill. Pretty good club. The question is, how much uphill is it? I think it's going to affect about three to four yards, which is going to lead this, lead this lob wedge to be just a bit too short. We could overswing it with a little bit of D-loft. Let's do that. Gonna come off slightly to the left. The wind's gonna blow it to the left. That's perfect. Go in the hole. Let's go. Oh, nothing wrong with that iron shot. It's a good one. Just a little short, little right, but still a very good place to putt from. A a uphill estimation was perfect on that golf shot so ball is sitting below the feet we got a steady uphill putt can be pretty aggressive here on the short putt it, it's a little bit left to right gonna try not to overthink it we've had these putts a thousand times this season got to hit it with confidence send it into the hole now nah, missed it left mm, straight in let down Okay. Well, you live and you learn. I don't think I ever would have played that straight in on this golf course. That's what makes this course so tough. Like safely in for par here at the sixth. Ones that look like they're breaking a lot don't break. Where he is. Ones that look like they're breaking a little break a lot. So, wow. Each pin location has had a different challenge as well. Got to go drive shot here. We have a tucked away pin location to the left side, protected by the bunker there. Only a couple yards to work with. And just look at that green. All right. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna go five iron, full loft. Take a little bit off this into this heavy wind. It, it's been about seven mile an hour. I, this might not get there. I mean, it might go too far down the hill. So let's go six iron do a little bit different approach try to overpower this and go right for it four and that's certainly not what you have in mind standing on the tee box that never had a chance of hitting the green <laughs> well Ryan probably has now broke the record and number of fans hit in both the regular season. Definitely broke that record, but now broke the playoff record. That fan was walking. Or <laughs> Jerry, please go check on that fan. Invite him to dinner. Give him a signed. You might have to give him a signed golf club. That fan was just walking around and takes a shot off the, off the hop. They were just walking around. I wonder what's going on in this hole. Well... All right, let's uh, let's shake it off. A big miss hit there by Ryan, the Punisher. He has that name from WWE, but he, honestly, Ryan, the Punisher here in EA PGA Tour is very, very fitting here. That's what the fans call him out there. <laughs> All right, shake it off. That, that rough just killed that ball. 10 foot putt left. Ryan was so flustered after hitting another fan. That's two this round already. The ball is sitting below the feet. Yeah, again, this is one that to me looks like a double breaker. Looks left to right at the end. Or it looks left to right at the beginning and right to left at the end. 
but I think it's mostly left to right. I'm going to go a cup length outside. Maybe a little bit less. Not that time. That's going to slip on by. Left to right, then right to left. These, these greens are insane. All right. It was only left to right at the very beginning. It kicked hard right to left early. That one in. It is a bogey here at the seventh. And he'll fall back to eight under par. Hey. You live and you learn. Just got to play better, right? You know the course is tough. Just got to play better. We got this. There's plenty of golf left. Sitting ninth place. We started the day in fourth. Come on, Orion. Wake up. this up the right side off the tee get it go into the first cut thank you you got lucky there that's a fairly decent break ball managing to finish up in the first cut as opposed to the rough the only thing really to worry about now is whether the ball spins or not i do love the challenge of this course especially on true film right because like it just don't know ex it's so you don't just don't know where it's going right these greens are so tough to read they have such a tough challenge to them, and makes for a fun fight, honestly. 167, slide up the hill. We got a pretty significant right to left wind. It's at our back slightly as well. I think the finesse shot is still the way. Eight iron finesse. Let the wind blow this up there. Either one. looking good what a shot so the wind added a little bit more hop to a that a little bit there. more roll but landed very close to the flag but look how far it's going on still a really good now golf shot for birdie and then and this is a nice smooth right to lefter this is the go zone this is the go zone as Noda says but this thing has a lot of break steady right to left putt ball is above the feet it's uphill. It's downhill at the beginning, then uphill at the end. Wow, look at that slope. We've missed these all day. All week. Come on. One time, Ryan. Make one. Make a putt. Oh, no. Just appeared to be befuddled by the break there. Hasn't that been the story of the week, YouTube? Just right there, but just barely missing. What a putt. Good read on a very difficult putt. Just barely off. He's got to start dropping, okay, right? Okay, that in four par here at the eighth. And he'll stay right where he you is. You all remember in round one, we really struggled on the front. And we battled back on the back nine to, to birdie four holes and get back get to four under to really salvage this tournament. And then in round two, you know, it's a pretty consistent round. Got to send this in the fairway. You know, it, it's one of those things. Confidence is so easy to lose on the greens in golf. Once you start yeah, to lose confidence nice reading, is gonna be a it's really shot tough. That is set up just fine. Just no confidence on these greens this week so in reading. He's at his back as he readies his second to the par four. Putting stroke has been good. Honestly, the putting stroke, it hasn't been a missed putt weight problem. The putt weight is fine. We're hitting good distance control on every single putt. The swing plane is good. We're just barely, barely off on the reads. It's not like we're far off. We're right there. 136 slide uphill from our position we got a pretty significant tailwind at our back so i'm gonna go finesse 50 degree wedge shot off to the right on the shot dispersion that's unfortunate you just don't know where it's going to go there, right? to be disappointing. Good line in the fairway, and the approach winds up in the bunker. Well, this is going to be difficult. Honestly, I think we just got to put this 
over well past the hole just to make sure we get it out. Ryan learned the old pick shot from the legendary caddy, Jerry. But let's see if we can actually hit it. Oh, that hit the flag stick. <laughs> yeah, I think Jerry would be proud of that one. Hit it a bit too firm, if you all notice that. That ball, if it doesn't hit the pin, is in trouble. Let's take a look at this from both sides. You, you never want to overlook these short putts. Okay, this is tricky. Because, to me, interesting enough, it looks like the left... Like, if you look over in this, this part of this green here, it looks like that side is higher than the other side. But it kind of looks like it sits in a valley. So I'm going to go with the kind of a straight in read here. That ball was 0.8 degrees below the feet, which Just signifies a pretty significant left to right putt. And that ball broke the opposite direction. You know, I when I looked at it from the other side, I thought the other side looked higher, right? But I thought it was going to break enough at the beginning to break left to right and then come back. What? We know where this is breaking. We just saw it. Okay, a shake of the head. A shake of the head, indeed. Finished off. Yeah, that just. I drop him back down. I never would have read that. Under. That I never would have read that out to the right with the way the the angle looked at the beginning. With the way it looked like it was going to break initially and it dove hard. I would have had to play that half a cup out to the right. I don't think I ever would have played that one out there. Would you all have? Anybody play that much out that outside? The other way? Okay, let's have a big back nine. The, these greens are so challenging, but this gets us ready for East Lake, doesn't it? After that bogey at the last and finding the rough here, it's going to be uh, time to like have a little tap on the uh, cranium and get things in the right place. Yeah, let's wake up, Ryan. I mean, this this course is showing its teeth all week, but especially here in round number three, these pin locations are on another level of toughness. Every single putt we've had has been tough, even when we're right next to the hole. So for this shot, I'm going to actually use the knockdown shot in the rough here. Knock down pitching wedge. Send this under the wind a little bit. That's a good shot. It went off to the left more than I wanted, but we're, we're and dancing. safely on deck. That's the main thing, but from that distance, really don't want to leave yourself like a knee knocker, like a four or five footer. So this first putt's going to have to be good. So what this, what these greens were reminding me of and kind of our putting was the regular season finale there at TPC Boston. You all remember there at TPC Boston, just we were close with the putter, but we were just a little bit off and those greens were playing so tough. And we, we really struggled with the putter there and it really affected that tournament. And then last week, the FedEx St. Jude Championship, we dominated on those greens. What a step up here. To me, this looks like a steady left to right putt. It looks like at the end, it still is breaking left to right, but kind of kind of stops a little bit. Yeah. This thing's going to break quite a bit, as all the putts have here at this golf course. Didn't hit it hard no, enough. Didn't quite give that enough. And this will be a five foot putt here. Little misjudged on the speed there. A slight left to right putt. Just put this on left edge. Mm, that's going to leak out to the right and trickle away. Not the right read there. I just have no confidence on these greens. I, I don't know what it is. I just, I'm not seeing these greens at all this week. You know, I'd rather do it this week than at the Tour Championship next week. So 
That's heartbreaking, though. How many short okay, putts has that, that missed this week? For a bogey like five here at 10. or six. And he's going to fall to six under par. That's five or six short putts missed this week. Not in this round. That's two in this round. But you can't win tournaments like that. This is just like TPC Boston. This is like a a replay of that tournament. Oh, this course is tough. When you lose confidence on these greens, it's tough to gain that confidence back. Plenty of golf left. We have to somehow salvage this round. Not Ryan's worst performance of the season, but it is it is getting close to that. Unfortunately, Break TPC Sawgrass was here. really have to take it just a little bit easier. Yeah, be careful. The players' the championship was one of Ryan's worst. Play the ball too far forward and try and scoop it. It's not going to work. Okay, let's wake up. 168 downhill, steady headwind. Let's go finesse shot. A little bit of loft here, and plant this one close. Come on. That's perfect. Please give and us a straight a good in putt. Approach shot too. Just a little left of the hole, but a good chance for birdie. Please give us a straight in. It is looks like it's pretty level at least initially. 0.2 degrees ball below the feet. It does look like it picks up a little bit more break left to right at the end. <laughs> I don't know. This kind of looks like it's the other way. Like these greens are so tricky. Do you have if you look at the left side of the screen there? It looks like it's kind of higher than the right side it, from this position. And then at the beginning, initially it looks left to right, and it looks left to right the entire way from this side. I left to right does look left to right to me. Come on, please, please be the right read. Mm, good effort, but that it was left to right. Deep past the hole. I just don't think I would have ever played it out that much. Looked like a slight break, if anything. These pin locations are on so another level in for par of toughness. That is and three bogeys. At six under par. Come on, Ryan. Hey, we've seen some epic comebacks. We need that. Let's get all these missed putts out of the way. We've already made the tour championship, right? Ryan Gamer locked in his place in the tour championship. But we got to play better. That's unfortunate. Well, you can't get there time. in two that anyways. In the rough. Might be a tough shot coming up. You can't get there in two anyways, so this hole doesn't really matter if you're in the fairway. You know, it, it's... These greens will humble you sometimes in this game, and... Just keep fighting, right? And it's all you can do. That's where you need to be. Back into the fairway on this par five. 109, slight downhill. This wind is ripping left to right right now. Going to do a little bit of loft here. We need to plant this right next to the hole. That's our best chance to score here. Got to hold. It's got to hold. That wind just took it. Well, as an old baseball announcer once said, going, going, gone. Goodbye. Now's not the time for that, Rich. <laughs> now's not. I mean, Ryan Gamer has been playing a lot of baseball. But now's not the time for going, going, gone. Let's make this. It's steady left to right. We've made these a lot recently. Come on. Let's get some momentum, Ryan. Not bad. It shot off to the left. A slight swing plane to the left. Frank, but what do you think? 
I certainly do. It was so, so good. Slight pull on the swing plane, but barely. That one safely in. And it's a par here at 12. And he'll remain right where he is. We've got to get back to even. We have to. Like, we, we've just got to get this round together. Somehow salvage this round. Here on this par 3. A tough par 3 at that. But we have, have to put this one close. Question is... What do we hit? And I think we hit the 8-iron finesse. Full loft. Let the wind push this thing quite a bit or add distance to it. I'm attacking this. Get up. Get up. Yeah, that's a popular spot. He'll have that for his birdie at 13. 12 feet still to go. Ball is above the feet. A steady right to left up the slope. Not a lot of movement here. Just a little bit. Come on. Please be the one. They've been breaking more. So I'm going to add more right to left on this. Because they've been breaking like crazy. Yeah, not quite enough pace, but that's pretty good. That was straight in. With the right pace. Okay, safely in for par here at 13. And he'll stay right where he is. Some golf courses just leave you shaking your head some days. You know, Evian Resort, especially pin location number three at that golf course. Honestly, that golf course left Ryan shaking his head the entire time. But this is another one. This, this, this is so tough. Toughest one we played this season, really. Th these pin locations. It, they're tough to read. The subtle breaks break a lot. And it's just hard to, to pinpoint the reads here. That's a good drive. We might be able to send this one. 263, we're going for it. We have to at this point. 248 is going to lend us too short. We have a front pin location though. If we add loft to this with an overpower. I think we can attack this. It's going to come off to the right. The wind's going to try to blow it back. We don't want to miss in that bunker though. That's right at it. That's a good golf shot. Come on. We're dancing for eagle, and what an eagle this would be. Well, that one had to feel good. Yeah, struck it so well. You could see that by the reaction of that ball when it hit the green. Landed so softly. Okay, so 46 feet on greens we have not mastered. A steady downhill putt. The ball at the beginning looks like it's slightly above the feet, right to left. Looks like a hard right to left break most of the way. Take a look from the other side just to confirm. You don't expect an easy eagle putt. Okay, this makes me think it's a double breaker. Yeah, it's, it's just so tough to see here. I had a little bit more confidence on these greens. It would help, but no confidence right now. I think it's right to left, though. One time. That's close. Hey, we got the read right, right to left. Hit it a bit firm. It might have went in with better holding speed. That's This is not where you want to be for birdie. Just... I think if we hit that softer, it might go in. A ball is sitting above the feet. Steady up the slope. It was hard to get a lot of information on the read based on where the ball was rolling there because it was just going so fast, right? It did look like a slight right to left. Okay, this reminds me of the putt we just had in the last hole. 
It was 0.5 degrees and it didn't break at all. This reminds and we left it short. I'm gonna do slight right to left and send this putt. Just like the last hole. Yes! Oh, yes, plenty of pace to get up that slope. It is in for a birdie. A birdie! And that'll move him to seven under par. They do exist on this course. Birdies are out there. <laughs> They're just really tough to find. Oh my. Wow, that one rolled around the hole and in. We caught a break on that one. That'll get the heart rate up. That's a huge birdie. I'm just trying to get back to even. If we get back to even, we can make a push in the final round to get a top five finish. We moved from 20th to, to 13th place? Is that 14th place? 14th place. Okay. Here we go. We know this wind is going to crush this ball. I'm going to go drive five iron. It's downhill with a tailwind. We need a good shot dispersion here. We got plenty of green to work with. It's a pretty good shot. It's just going to run out too much. Another rough shot. Boy, that ball got caught in the breeze and it was just along for the ride. Much too firm there. Second shot now here at the par three. Chip game has been on recently. The problem is with this location is just it's really tough to read I mean 88 97 percent just don't know where it's gonna go once it hits it looks to me like it's left to right you right to left let's just go right at it Oh, it's definitely left to right. That's so good. Just barely. I called it left to right. Good chip. Hey, we gave it a run. I was going to make it. And we're left with a difficult short putt. Ball is well above the feet here for the short putt. This is a short putt with... About half a cup or more a break. Yeah, good putt. That's in for par here at 15. And he'll Somebody call in the birdie train here to finish. We need it. Whoever called in the birdie train before, I think we may need to change, change birdie train companies because whatever birdie train company was there today, wow, it did not come through, did it? No birdie trains at all today. It, did we have a bogey train? Uh, was it a bogey train? Or just did we spread them apart? No issues here. That is into the fairway. I think we spread our bogeys apart. Put it in a great spot off the tee. Has just 86 yards left for his second shot. See what 86 he can do with 86 yards this. uphill. Into a slight cross headwind. I'm going to do D loft here into this wind. Just hope that it plays like the cross headwind I would expect. Underswing does not help. One. Without the underswing, that was in. Uh, it was a good strike. I could tell that by the uh, sound as the ball came off the club face. That little bounce and check. Well done. That was gorgeous. That was absolutely gorgeous. So ball is sitting below the feet. We got a slight downhill putt. It's a little bit of break, not much whatsoever. Yes! Ah, that a pure roll there. That is down for a birdie here at 16. Back to even. A big time comeback. To eight under. You all see who's at the top there? Ryan Gamer's rival this season, Patrick Cantlay. At the top of the leaderboard, the world golf ranking number two player right now here in this career mode series. Ryan Gamer's rival this season. They've had some epic battles. 
and Cantlay is beating Ryan Gamer today. It doesn't look like Ryan will be having a final pairing with Patrick Cantlay, but that would have been pretty cool. But maybe in the Tour Championship. Actually, I hope it's not Patrick Cantlay because he sometimes shoots like 15 under. He shot 15 under in the final pairing before on some one of the most epic comebacks this season. Excellent. And we're in range for Ryan Gamer's go-to shot, the spinner shot. Just got to dial this one in. Are we in range? Not really. Look at that dispersion zone. What's the pitch shot dispersion? A little bit smaller. We got to go with Ryan's shot, right? Have to. A bit too much in the overpower. That'll do just fine. Eight feet now for Birdie. Can't complain though. We have a little eight foot birdie putt here. Steady down the hill. Ball is sitting below the feet. So it would indicate left to right at the beginning. But as we've seen on this course all week, that means nothing. <laughs> that means absolutely nothing. Because this putt looks right to left. And what we've learned this week, if it looks right to left, it probably is. No, this, see, this is where I, this week has, has really hurt me. The beginning looks different than the end it, from different sides. So this is one where I would say, trust my instincts and go left to right. What do I know? Clearly we know how to putt. Yes, some good <laughs> fun here toward the end of the round. Birdies at 16 and 17. And That's huge. A nine under par. You never give up, YouTube. You keep fighting. I don't care how far you've, how much you've struggled. We've had a lot of bogeys today. We could have got flustered. We could have let it affect our round, but we kept fighting. We kept grinding, and we are in this tournament still. Wow, oh, what a fight! That is three birdies in the last four holes, and a little birdie train starting. Moved up to eighth place. Started the day in tenth. Come on, let's keep fighting, Ryan. Let's keep fighting. What many of you all have learned from Ryan Gamer's WWE career, he's a fighter. You know, he, he doesn't give up. In many fights, he's looked like he's out of it, but has an epic combat comeback. And he's got that fighting spirit. I don't know where to aim here. I'll just be honest with you all. It's it, I don't know which tree that is. The tree that's right there past our aim marker. Which tree is that here in the caddy book? I wish I wish Jerry would have made that a little bit more clear. So I think we need to aim here. But I don't know. That's it. And no issues there. Good tee shot in the short grass. Beautiful. A little under 90 yards left here for his second. Okay. Going to go a little bit of loft. We have a pretty significant tailwind, which is going to give us a little hop. But what I want to do, I want to one hop and then stop. My goal with the shot, one hop, stop. That was not my goal. Not no, the really wind nothing would have added wrong more. With that approach shot, just a little shy of where you'd like to finish up, but still one good putt, maybe a birdie. And one good putt, maybe a birdie to finish with the little birdie train here. If if the wind affects that more, I think the wind died down in this final hole a little bit. This to me looks like a hard breaking left to right after the beginning. The so most of this break looks like it's right at the mid part of the putt, like right here, and it turns. 
pretty significantly. I'm gonna visualize the read. Visualizing the putt go in, right? One time. Gonna scoot a foot or two by. What a battle on a very tough day of golf. These greens played tough and was able to somehow battle to one under. Was hoping to get to two under on the day with the birdie there. It just dove at the end. Honestly, you you go back and rewatch this round, you will see plenty of so close birdie opportunities and so close par putts as well. We are so close this whole week to dominate on this golf course, but so close in golf does not always mean you're gonna score a lot of birdies, right? But sometimes it means the opposite. And today was that day, one under in a hard fought round. We battled, we never gave up. And at the end of the day, that's what we do. We have that fighting spirit. We'll take our nine under par so far for okay, the tournament. so that will wind up a par at the last. So for our featured golfer, some good playing and some favorable scoring conditions here on this Saturday. But they'll look up at that leaderboard and see they're still well back. But I think the goal really is to try and shoot back-to-back -back great rounds, Rich. Uh, if anything better than that, maybe leader takes a stumble. You can't control that. But at least get out there tomorrow, shoot as low as you can. Hey, get out there tomorrow and shoot as low as we can. Exactly what Frank said there. That's what we're going to try to do. You erase the bogey mistakes in that round. I mean, that's four under par, which is where we were in rounds one and two. Would have put us in much better position. But at at the end of this round, we're sitting with the 36 on the front, one over on the front nine, a two under on the back nine to battle back. Uh, but that's four birdies and three bogeys. Hard to win tournaments with that. Good fight, though. I, I love the heart that we showed there. I mean, the last six holes... We were sitting two over par going into the 14th tee. Went birdie par, birdie, birdie, almost birdie on the 18th. That is a great round, a great battle. And I believe we almost chipped in on that par three as well. So Brendan Hagee has dominated. I mean, 19 under, 67 there in that round, 400 par. Will Zalatoris there in second. Patrick Cantlay in third. The world number two player right now in this career mode series. And then Xander Shoffley is shot 12 under, 4 under on the day. Will Gordon, Terrell Hatton, Mark Hubbard, Sunjay Ilm, Ryan Gamer, Jordan Spieth. So there you have your top 10 and Robbie Shelton. So it could be either Ryan Gamer and Jordan Spieth or Ryan Gamer and Sunjay Ilm, right? Aren't both those playable pros in the game? Xander Shoffley's in the game as a playable pro as well, and Patrick Cantlay. So it's going to be interesting. We can actually probably see first two pairings, second two, next two, next two, next two. So it should be Ryan Gamer and Jordan Spieth, most likely. It could be Sunjay M. It depends on how it wants to pair up, but likely it's going to be Mark Hubbard and Sunjay M, and then Ryan Gamer and Jordan Spieth. So that's going to be a fun final pairing. And who knows, maybe Ryan Gamer and Jordan Spieth can have an electric final pairing. We are sitting 10 strokes off the lead. We are sitting seven strokes off second place. But we're only, only sitting five strokes off third. And my main goal is honestly to get to fourth. So top five, that would be, what are we, four strokes? Three strokes off of fourth place. I need all of y'all's one times, all the hype and positive encouraging comments, just like always. That finish is exactly what we need to do starting in the final round. Come out strong, need to dial in these greens. Th these, these greens are tough and we I, I understand that, right? And we are starting to get the hang of them there at the back nine, but have to get a few more birdies on the first. And on this course, you know what that's gonna mean? Better proximity to, to hole. You know, we can blame the putting all we want this week. These are tough greens. How do you leave yourself easier putts? You hit it closer to the hole. It's that simple. Last week, proximity to hole was amazing. TPC Boston, proximity to hole was a struggle. And we struggled there in that regular season finale. 
But last week, we dominated Proximity Hole and dominated with the putter. So, need to hit those shots a little bit closer. These elevation changes play tough. These greens are tough. But need to dial in Proximity Hole first in the final round and then make more putts. So I will see you all in the finale of the BMW Championship. We only have one round left until the Tour Championship. We've already locked in our spot to play in that Tour Championship, sitting number one in the FedEx Cup standings. But I want to win so bad. I want to win this tournament. It's, it's looking like we can't win it, but you never know. Anything can happen, but I, I doubt that's possible. But what we can do is get into the top five, get some momentum, because we need all the momentum and positivity that we can have into East Lake. If you all think this course is tough for Riot Gamer, of course is nothing compared to what the challenge is at the Tour Championship. There is no course that's harder for me in a golf video game usually than East Lake. So we have to conquer those greens next week if we can't conquer these greens while we are in trouble and these are tough greens don't get me wrong but they are nothing like what we're gonna face next week so i will see you all in the final round here at the bmw championship in the meantime there's plenty of other ryan gamer career mode content out there we have another golf series in pga 2k 23 going on in a major championship in that career mode series where ryan is on pace to win the rookie grand slam so we'll see if he can continue to win majors and then we have wwe 2k24 a video will be posted later today in that series and uh, another one later this week as well we got the new series for mlb the show 24 you're gonna see a lot of baseball just like always when those game launches love that career mode series we got nhl 24 on saturdays and then madden 24 is still going on as well so plenty of content to tune into here on the gamer ability youtube channel I will see you all in the next one. Drop a like if you got some enjoyment. Subscribe for more. And as always, have a fantastic day, everybody.